I don't spill his coffee. Jane and welcome to my channel so today's video is all about my next sewing pattern that's getting launched and I thought I'll show you all the details So hi, welcome back. Yeah, so as, as I said in the intro, my new latest sewing pattern is going to be released in the next few weeks. I'm so excited and obviously I'm going to share with you. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see lots of pictures of me wearing samples that I've made on the pattern. And uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I highly recommend that you do, then you'll be kept up to date with daily outfit inspiration and obviously my new sewing patterns that I'm working on. If you're one of my patrons, don't forget you automatically get your very own exclusive copy of all my sewing patterns directly into your inbox as part of your subscription. So, and if you're not a patron and you fancy joining me over there, then I'll pop the link for that as well in the box below, but no pressure. So yeah, so this is gonna be my one, two, three, four, fifth, fifth sewing pattern. My actual fourth garment type of pattern. My first one was the Audrey collar, and then I progressed on to the forgotten already poppy pinny for and then from the poppy pinny for I went on to the Martha top followed by the Ava blouse and today I am sharing with you the Nell t-shirt dress so I've got my coffee so hopefully I'm not going to spill it or slop it on the front of my dress here so let's just go with a bit of background on the Nell t-shirt dress and I'll show you all the samples all the options and what it's all about so obviously I've got this, as I said before, it's my fourth garment sewing pattern and I am getting much more, I wouldn't say much more creative because I am creative anyway, but I'm getting much more knowledgeable, much more confident. So my patterns obviously are going to grow, grow with me if you know what I mean. This one I'm super excited because it's, it's jersey, so it, well, it's for a knit, a knit fabric, so obviously slightly different composition to woven, so you're looking at different factors like negative ease has got to be you know accounted for and all the things that were you know come come with working with knit fabrics so but I wanted to challenge myself because that's the way I like to do things I want to grow and grow in myself and obviously I want to be able to bring out more and more sewing patterns and obviously custom custom made clothing as well maybe twice a year if I can for those of you who don't sew or are not interested in sewing I also do the clothing side you know ready ready to wear custom made clothing so obviously the, my last few patterns were all woven so I thought right let's let's go down a different angle so that's why I went for the t-shirt now I made the original t-shirt dress I didn't say it was called, did I? It's called the Nell T-shirt dress. First one I made, it was just a complete draft out of my head for myself. So I'll show you that one. This is way before I had any intention of making it into a pattern. And I'll pop pictures up of me wearing them all as well so you can see the full length. So this is the first one I made and I made it in this gorgeous French terry. Uh, quite a heavy, thick, knit fabric but perfect for this dress it goes really well it's got a beautiful drape uh, and after i made it i thought oh french terry it may end up being a little bit too thick a little bit too heavy but no it's perfect absolutely perfect and uh, i just trimmed the neckband in like a contrasting fabric and then i made the cuffs and i made the cuffs a little bit deeper than a normal like neckband type of cuff from the bodice which is just like a shortened bo bodice I added the long skirt and then on the end of the skirt I added the final the final like tear obviously got pockets so 
comes with pockets. So that was the first first draft and that was just obviously for, for me. And I absolutely loved it. As soon as I put it on, I thought, I love it. I love the length and everything. And that gave me the, like, the impetus to maybe work on it as a sewing pattern. So this is option one. This is the Nell t-shirt dress. So obviously option one, full, full length maxi dress with the ruffle on the end. The next one, again, exact same length exactly didn't do anything different with this one this fabric is absolutely delicious i absolutely love this again this is a cotton organic cotton jersey this one so a little bit lighter but for this one i made the cuffs that little bit longer i didn't have enough fabric to do the pockets so i improvised and just used some spare jersey that i had for the pockets because you can you can't see the pockets anywhere that the way i put pockets in they're quite quite concealed so you, you can't see so you, you don't even know that there's different fabric and sometimes you've got to improvise haven't you so that's what i did with that one so many compliments on this one and i just thought and people asking me will i bring it into a pattern and i just thought well yeah why not so that was option no that's not option that was design that was um, sample number two and then from sample number two I continued in the same vein because that's all I was thinking of at that point was just the dress you know the, the long maxi dress I had no intention of doing anything else but I was just going to bring out just this pattern in the dress again a cotton jersey with pockets and the contrasting cuff and the neckband so that was what that that was what that the pattern was going to be was going to be like so i'll show you the maxi dress in all the detail for you to see a little bit better oh no i gave my heart away went a bit too far so wrong oh no open up my soul but babe how could i is slightly shorter in length because I didn't have enough fabric to do the full-on length so I had to improvise and make the skirt a little bit shorter so I could get the ruffle on the on the hem on that one so it's a little bit shorter and then obviously that gorgeous retro floral one is the same length the same length as the French Terry but with the um, longer slightly longer cuffs I did a couple more centimeters to the cuffs on those and then on to what I'm wearing. This is the one I've been making fresh off the sewing machine. This is what I've been using for the pattern instructions, obviously, because I've got to make 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 one to take the photographs for the step-by-step -step instructions. I was gonna do the filming of the so to the so long, you know, the saw with me video for that'll come out with the pattern. It's just bedlam when you try to do photographing and filming and sewing and all in one go it's just bedlam and it, so I just thought well I'll stick with I'll make this one and just do the photographs on this one and I'll make another sample for the sew with me tutorial on my channel to, to run alongside the pattern so for those of you who like to see visual visual tutorials um, so I've still got that to do so that means I've got to make another one but that's okay you never have too many it's gorgeous cotton organic cotton delicious I've had, I've had this on my stash in my fabric stash for ages over a year well over a year I think I got it the same time as I got this one so well over a year cut the pockets out but I just I didn't I just cut the pockets out I wasn't being like frugal because there's like a little bit left and enough for the pockets so I cut the pockets out come to get all the pieces thought where's the bodice I hadn't cut the bodice front or back out thought right I've got some like off-white cotton jersey so I made the bodice in the off-white to contrast with the cuffs and then I changed the neckband because the neckband was originally going to be the cream to match the cuffs because the, bod the bodice would have been the same like this so I just did a little bit of switching it around and actually I quite like this 
way of doing it as well and also it's another way of showing you that you can mix and match your fabrics and how to style or coordinate the pattern it's quite a versatile pattern because of the parts which you'll see as I move on to the other options so it's a really good versatile pattern and it's going to be a good all-round pattern for you as well it's going to be a bit of a workhorse in like the t-shirt style dress department definitely and as I said before it wasn't planned to be more than just the t-shirt dress but it has evolved into more so yeah so that's the dress length so moving on from the maxi length dress I then thought how else can I make this into something else because obviously I want to give more options in my sewing patterns if I can so moving on from the dresses I then went on to this cute waist length the cute waist length number which I absolutely love it is so cute so fun and all it is is the the bodice the t-shirt bodice the sleeves and everything's the same and this is the hem ruffle twice but how fun is that now you could just do the whole thing in the same fabric or like, like I've done a bit of mix and matching great for using your scraps up if you've got large pieces of your, your, your knit scraps you could have your sleeves in one you could have your bodice in another you know type of thing and I just love it I love it as soon as I put it on I just thought this is fun this is something a little bit different to a t-shirt dress so moving on from the hip length I thought I wonder what it would look like waist length so again it's just a variation of that one and again how cute how cute is this now when I made it I thought oh it might be a little bit too short but it's not it just fits perfect the length is perfect just goes below your, your belt on your trousers it's deceiving it looks sharp but it's not and I just cobbled together some leftover knit fabrics that I had just to have a play with the idea in my head but it's worked out really well so this has now become option three so you flip it round so you could have plain floral you know it, quite a few options there so there we go waist hip and maxi and then from that that was all it was going to be that was going to be your three options I thought well that's you know pretty pretty good and then I thought I wonder if I could make one last option maybe a t-shirt option so I thought I'm not I'm not just going to extend the bodice because that's not what I wanted to do so and make it into a t-shirt so I just thought right I'm going to draft a t-shirt so I was thinking in my head gathered sleeves but on a t-shirt and make it into a extra special t-shirt so then then so then I created the t-shirt better put that down because I'll end up spilling it so I created this stripe t-shirt and this I used jersey crepe like a bubbly texture so I think it's crepe and in the stripe and I've had this fabric in my stash forever I just thought it'd be perfect so I thought I'd play with the stripes so I loved it so much because I just thought I'm gonna make another one for my gorgeous friend Lynn so I made another one for Lynn so by the time you see this video Lynn will, will have had hers this is Lynn's version this is with the neckband the original width neckband so I created the t-shirt so it's not um, extension of the bodice at all it is an actual t-shirt pattern so I've included that in in this pattern so that is that is the Nell t-shirt dress sewing pattern which comes with obviously the maxi length hip length waist length and a bonus t-shirt with the gorgeous gathered sleeves and the extra deep cuff know what you think um, I absolutely love it I'm thrilled to bits I've had loads of great feedback and it's ready to go for testing the testers uh, are going to be working on it next week and hopefully all all being well then it should hopefully be getting launched so mid-August I would say watch this space and if you follow me on Instagram I will probably be running like a discount launch discount code as well for the pattern so don't forget to come over and follow me over there please let me know what you think of the design my plan for this year was to get at least three sewing patterns published this year so I've already had the Ava blouse so I need to get my skates on and uh, 
get, get, get another one out at least. So the Dixie dress is gonna be the next one, I think. This is definitely the avenue I'm going down and also my custom clothing. I look that section as well where I'm making clothing for people. That is, oh, and then my garden. So I think I found the things that give me the most pleasure in life in between caring for John. Uh, these are the things that, you know, really, really made me happy. Bit of self-care for me too. I think it's, you know, I do need a bit of self-care because obviously caring for John is full on 24 seven and it's hard at times. So the this for me is just, yeah, self self care definitely. So far, my my patterns have been really well received. So and thank you all for your feedback and for those of you who have bought my other patterns. And if you haven't bought any of my patterns and you want to have a look, they're all in my shop, and I'll pop the link for that in the box below. Yeah. So let me know what you think of the nail t-shirt dress pattern. So yeah, so that's it for today's video. It's just basically a little update on my next sewing pattern. I just wanted to share it with you and see what you think. And if you want to see how I got on with my Ava blouse pattern, I'll pop the link for that video up there as well. That was my the one before this one. But until the next time, thanks for joining me and I'll see you on my next on my next video. Bye for now.